everybody. Welcome to the podcast. You know, hey, we're the, the geeks. I'm Joe. I'm Luke. Sometimes. Um, sometimes I see sometimes. that, uh, yeah, maybe, a little bit. See, Marvel Studios <laughs> is trying to uh, get Disney to rehire James Gunn. That's kind of that's kind of cool. Yeah, I wonder how much of that is truth or rumor. Like, Because I know they were talking, and then, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me, because they, obviously, the Marvel Studios people really like him. Yeah, uh, I mean, and they're not as reactionary and as like conservative as some of the higher up Disney people are. Which is really a shame that they're that way to begin with. Like, yeah, okay, I kind of want to. On one hand, I kind of want to understand, you know, where they're coming from. Mm-hmm. But like, you look at the other hand, you look at Disney's past. You look at some of the commercial, like some of the things that they've done. You know, some of the cartoons they've made. You know, a lot of that stuff, while it was a product of its time, sure, it was like super racist. No, uh, yeah, you know, like like uh, that's that's not okay, Disney. Uh, what was that? The Song of the South. Oh I yeah, it. yeah, Song I think I know South. what you're talking about. Super racist. Yeah. Uh, I mean, stuff anytime. In well, yeah, like anytime you have like a like a black person depicted in Disney media, they are always over exaggerated. And of course, Warner Brothers did the same thing. But yeah, like you said, it's a product of your time. A lot of different studios. <clears throat> Entities did similar things with it, but I don't know. I think uh, I, I go two minds on it is like the the one side we talked about of it could just be, it, you know, we thought maybe it was just reactionary of, oh, shit, just kill it now before the media storm. Uh, but it sounds like it's more like this dude, this one dude right under Bob Iger, who's very, very critical about the people that he allows to work with Disney and the content and everything. And is very conservative about everything. Yeah, and it sounds like this guy went. Ah, somebody said the f word. Or get rid of him. Or like, like that. But it's like you sit there and you realize that Disney dirty owns... jokes. No. Well, yeah, yeah, and it's like stupid because you realize yeah. that Disney owns studios like Buena Vista, who put out R-rated flicks. You know. Yeah. It's like, come on, what are you guys? What are you guys doing? Yeah, it's just they don't put out very many. <clears throat> I mean that's that's a lot a lot of what Buena Vista does is R rated though like that's I like Buena Vista is like their R rated Disney like that's where they put their adult their more adult flicks yeah but I mean like you don't I don't see like a Buena Vista movie every year or anything like that well yeah they they don't don't pop up honest to God don't remember the last Buena Vista movie Uh, I I don't know either it's it's been (laughs) I mean I, I don't. I don't watch, I don't pay that much attention, but like, but that's like a point, you know, like that, that's kind of like, I don't know, you're, you're sitting there and just kind of being shitty, you know, Let's see. I, I, I just, yeah, I, I hate it. I think it's dumb, you know, it's dumb when it like affects like, you know, hiring good directors. It's dumb when it comes to uh, like stuff like this, where you immediately just, no, I can't have that. It's bad. It's naughty. It's naughty. It's, it's, just a, really it's no good. It's no good. You can't have it. No good. It's wrong. It's totally wrong. Don't do it. I don't know, yeah, man. Uh, it's, I'm it's, I'm looking and I don't see anything from Buena Vista. Hold on, the sword and the stone. They did a lot of animated stuff, but I don't see any rated R stuff here. Like ever, Mini or just in a while? Like since the '80s, they were still doing animated stuff. Huh. Making your dreams come true promotion. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they do rated R movies. Mm. Oh well. Yeah. Nope. I do not know of any studios that do rated R under Disney. Let's take a look. Oh, that's wrong word. But yeah, Vena Vista, not them. Maybe it was Touchstone then. Uh, it's Touchstone. It's Touchstone. Yeah. yeah. And, and of course, uh, Miramax when they owned Miramax. Movie. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It doesn't look like there's very many. Dimension, Miramax. Uh, yeah, but they didn't release too many. The couple of horror flicks and Sin City. And I would and say, stuff. yeah, Sin City's probably the most. And I mean, that might not have been released when they were owned by Disney. Yeah, Con Air was probably one of the. I mean, I don't recognize some of these movies, so I don't know what content they have. Uh, Bad Santa. That's kind of surprising. Uh, Either I mean, way, this is like three times below Disney. I'm sure that you know they don't have Disney, the Disney opening in the intro of the movie. Well, no, of course not. It's it's the studio that that made it. Um, yeah, but yeah, like I guess Miramax when Miramax was owned by Disney, they did release Clerks. 
You know, was, yeah. that was during that time. Um, Dimension Films, Sin City. They when when Disney owned Dimension, that they they did release Sin City. Um, stuff like yeah, it's, it's so it's not. I don't know. Oh, apparently they um, the Bob Iger and that other guy, uh, Mike I, Michael Eisner, demanded that Miramax drop their investment in Michael Moore's controversial documentary in Fahrenheit 9/11. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't like that and idea. Ryan reminded Miramax that Disney had the right to veto any Miramax film it, if it appeared it, that its distribution would go against Disney's interests. So they do have that. Uh, they have that leeway. Yeah, Either way, anything that's anywhere closer to Disney, that guy. I, I believe it's that second guy. I said, uh, "Fucking <clears throat> Michael Eisner." Yeah. No, Michael Eisner. No, what used to be their CEO? Yeah, he's the old CEO. But either way. Yeah, the uh, the top that guy right under uh, Iger is the yeah. one who's just very very strict. Sucks because then we you know, lose James Gunn, and at this point they've last thing that came out before the Marvel thing, and I don't know if we talked about no we didn't talk about this. This just got released this week too. Um, they Disney said they're not using his script either, which yeah. Batista Batista said, and you know it's a tweet, so who knows if he'll hold to it. Uh, that he's done. He's not even going to be in the movie. He'll he'll get try and get out of his contract if they don't use that script. Yeah, I mean, and I can't say I blame him. Like, why would I mean? Yeah, okay. I mean, it's yeah, it's annoying. <clears throat> you know, James Gunn tweeted some things ten years ago that were controversial and not in line with your image and blah blah blah. Like I don't think that's from ten years ago or however long the last one last ones were. I mean, he apologized for all of them. Yeah, yeah, he apologized for all of them, and then um, some right wing nut dude that I I know I recognize his name, but he's ultimately unimportant because I can't remember his name. Um, he's one of the like the uh, like the uh, yeah he's just one of those guys, one yeah. of those he he's only somewhat recognizable because he's got a loud fan base of in like poltards and right wing screaming, just yeah yeah Trump he's our man yep. Which, if he can't do it, it's probably not going to happen. If he can't do it, it's the Mexicans' fault. <laughs> if he can't do it, blame the Mexicans and the libtards. Yeah, no, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, <clears throat> if Trump can't can't get something done, it's 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 libtards' fault. I mean, to me, I think a big part of this that they need to take into account, and hopefully this is what Marvel is bringing up to Disney, is that this was legitimately a hit. Yeah. On- yeah, to bring like, this up, it's not it's not anything that's been like like other than him deleting the tweets, he's made public apology for it. It's not something that's like other and I other than to go deleting tweets, there's nothing like he's not hiding it. Uh, I guess that is technically kind of hiding it, but I mean, it's not something where he's fucking changed his goddamn identity or something or deleted his entire Twitter, started a new one or anything like that. It's just, you know, it's it's in the past. Somebody dug this up specifically to hurt him. Yeah. And Disney went right along with it, which is like the worst. It's just the one of the worst things I think you could do. Yeah, no. It I empowers mean, that sort of thing. Yeah, they, they basically fed the trolls. Like, they yeah. completely fed the trolls with that shit. And it's just, it's completely, it's just completely unhelpful, man. And I think it's honestly going to... Uh, kind of hurt them it's going to it's going to i think it's going to hurt them a little bit yeah i think i think uh at this point there's enough negative reaction to this that uh it might i mean i like i said to somebody i was talking to this week a friend of mine not only like could they lose batista i could see them just getting rid of him anyway after like in the middle of whatever if they do a rewrite if they don't listen to marvel they completely get somebody to rewrite the movie new director I could also see Disney going, yeah, he, like we don't like that he was arguing with us. Right. Write him out after yeah. this. He's done. We're, he's done. We're done with that character. Like that'd be a pretty big fucking blow. And I mean, like that would be a huge deal. Be a I mean, stupid move. Yeah, because I mean, Drax is so important to everything that's going on. You know, yeah. like he, he's he's in the center. He's a, he's a huge member of the Guardians. You know, he was in. He was important in in, in uh, Infinity War. So it's like you can't sit there and just you can't get rid of him without hurting things. And yeah. uh, that's totally. I, yeah, I agree. That's totally going to hurt him. I, I think that's yeah, going to be. As... It's going to be you know, um, foot meet meet bullet, and they're going to yeah. shoot themselves. 
Yeah, not only is he like you know a, a character that a lot of people like. I thought I, I thought some of his humor got a little old in in Guardians Two, but to be honest, I thought a lot of the humor got a little stale, and I'm hoping they switch it up for Guardians Three. Yeah. However, not enough where I want to see the character gone. And honestly, he's not only like a fan favorite character; he's like uh, apparently he's he's become a symbol for people that are like on the uh, spectrum. Yeah, <laughs> like I mean, he's I mean, great. It's, it's it's cool. It's like you know, people look up to him. People that have problems, he's like he's superhero who represents them, and everybody's constantly arguing about you know. Then we need more superheroes representing this or that. Like uh, we need a fat superhero. We need uh, you know more black superheroes, more Hispanic. Everybody wants more of that. Why would you lose this? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I still say John C. Riley needs to be Nova, but. Kind of a fat guy. <laughs> John, John C. Riley. You see, didn't he play? Uh, didn't he play an officer though in the original Guardians? He did. He was yeah. one of the Nova Corps. Uh, yeah, the, he... they've kind of turned it into a whole core. I know in the comics, there's a character called Nova too, who's like, I, I mean, he might as well, kind of what I've seen of him. He's kind of like another Star Lord, but I think he has uh, either some powers or something. I don't know. I just think. We, that would be a, new, a cool character to add, and if he was actually played by John C. Riley, like in the destruction of the Nova Corps when Thanos attacked, he somehow got fucking superpowers and could fly through space and shoot lasers or some shit. I'm, I'm, that's awesome. <laughs> I, I just, you know what? I just here's want John C. Riley in the movie. Yeah, I'm gonna say here's what you do: you just have John C. Riley in the movie as John C. Riley doing things. No, like, no, no. He could be Nova. I just want to see him. He could be like a new, well, I don't want to replace Drax, but have like a similar background where Drax is all, I want to kill Thanos or I want to kill what's because he killed my family. Now I want to kill Thanos because he ordered it, blah, blah, blah. John C. Riley's family could have been killed on Nova when obviously Thanos went to get that infinity gem. Yeah. All right. I could see that. Honestly, yeah. I, I'm with you. I just want more John C. Riley and things because he's fun. Yeah. He's he's a good guy. He's a great actor. He, you know, he's a great comedian. Um, I know he's a lot on a. I know um, he he does a lot of Adult Swim stuff, but I don't watch Adult Swim because I find Adult Swim to be cringy. But I know he's mm -hmm. on a lot of Adult Swim programming. Yeah. But I just I can't do it anymore, man. I used to love Adult Swim, and it's all gone to just I don't know what the hell happened to it. Uh, I mean, I don't know what they're playing now. Honestly, I just I'm not a fan of like the uh, the live action stuff that they've put out. Yeah. So I, I don't bother watching that. Tim and Eric awesome show, but I, again, I haven't really given it much of a chance. Yeah. I just haven't had enough drugs. Yeah, you need a lot of drugs um, <laughs> yeah. in order to enjoy those shows. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. So I I really hope Marvel can convince them. Yeah, I mean, geez, man. Like, you don't get rid of him, something like that. Like, come on. No. Like, I get where they're coming from and all, but come on, man. You're just, you're just, be I feel like they're just being petty at this point. It really does seem that way that Disney is now, like, they, I, I, I would, I don't know if I want to go so far as to say they realize they screwed up, but it seems like at this point, I can imagine them only holding to this because. Well, we can't go back on our word. We're Disney, we're never wrong. That's no, what you, I get. That's, you are that's often kind wrong. Of the sense I get, yeah, <laughs> fucking bullshit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're. I I really do feel they're just they're just totally wrong. Yeah, but I, I yeah, I'm really hoping that uh, you know, I really do hope that fuck, I don't know that they fucking wake up. They go, you know what, guys? We might have jumped the gun a little bit. Like you don't have to out, you don't have to come out and you know say you were wrong or anything. You just say, you know, we've had a change of heart. And yeah, he he doesn't agree with us, but you know, this is his movie. This is his project. He's 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 done the first two. Wouldn't feel right without him or something like that. Like just just say, you know, yeah. you you change your mind. So, yeah, something like that, or like come out and say, you know, we've thought it over and we don't want to give. Honestly, I think they should go about it. We don't want to give power to this kind of thing in the future. Yeah, no. It's kind of like actively trying to attack someone's livelihood. And by the way, not to be one sided on this, this is just most fucking ways when like super PC people have attacked people in the past and tried and get them to lose uh, their jobs and shit from things they've said 10 years ago. That's bullshit, too. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I completely agree with that. Like, can, can we just let the past be in the past? It's not yeah. that serious, you know? 
It's yeah. just really and not. Like, it, as long as a person's grown from it, I think, uh, yeah, I think there's, because I, I, I would hate for someone to be able to look up and see shit that I said back when I was in high school. Yeah, I was no, a fucking I mean, idiot. Some of the dumbest, uh, like, yeah, some of the shit further, that I've said. Anytime. Now, some yeah. of the shit that I've said as, as like a, as a teenager and even like an, a, a younger man in my early twenties, I look back on it and go, "What the fuck was wrong with me?" And you know mm-hmm. that and that that's, that's the key you mentioned. As long as they've grown, and that is yeah. that is a very very important distinction. That person has to have grown. Yeah, and you know, <clears throat> I think that's a that's a problem with you know you mentioned these super PC people attacking conservatives. Sometimes the conservatives just they don't change. They don't grow. They oh, don't I get. get they don't I get mean, better. it can be that can be either way. Yeah. However, there's a lot of times where they just attack people to attack them. Yeah, which uh, is not they, which they, is not they, okay. They, don't attack people just for the sake of attacking them. Yeah, granted, it, like you know, you want to pull out these, you know, the the, the I don't, I don't, I, the people that are actively doing some fucking uh, stupid shit, like the uh, the the tiki torch guys. Yeah, they're uh, I'm, <laughs> yeah. That's something they're, they're, you know, that's them now. And you want to put them out there like, hey, you, they were marching in public. People are taking pictures of them and shit. Point out that this guy's, you know, this is his name. This is uh, this is one of the guys who's there. And then he fucking gets in trouble with a lot of people. I mean, that's his. That's on him. Yeah. I mean, he's the one that decided to, to do that and, and just be that shitty person. Yeah. But if somebody, let's say back in when they were fucking in prison 25 years ago, uh, made stupid ass decisions and end up with the like the fucking uh, white nationalists or like the, some fucking Nazi organization in prison got out of prison, set their life straight, and has worked their whole life to live a better life. And somebody goes and well, what did the, look at what you did back then? And yeah, but, tries to ruin their life twenty yeah. years later after they've you know made it a conscious effort to change themselves. No, go fuck yourself. Yeah, seriously, like you can't sit there and. Like, like that sends such a bad message. That sends the damned if you do and damned if you don't message, and that's that's harmful yeah. to society. You know, like like here, let's stand on our soapbox here for a minute and just say, don't don't do that. You know, don't yeah. punish growth. Don't punish people trying to change themselves for the better. That hurts all of us when you do that. You know, like exactly. And you know, if you're gonna sit there and you're gonna be about, oh well, we gotta do better. We gotta do this. You gotta do that. Well, if this person is doing better, why are you giving them such a hard time? Yeah. Yeah, go fuck yeah. yourselves. It's, it's fucking annoying. And it's annoying that it's gotten to be... The t- I, I hate Twitter. I really wish that Twitter, the company, would just go, this was a mistake. We're done. Like, when it comes to the point when there's, like, massive... And not just, like, in the media. Because this... I mean, in in our daily lives, the James Gunn thing's not really... doesn't. It's not doesn't matter, really. Oh, yeah, no, it's I mean... Hollywood thing. But when you have nations that are arguing over Twitter, like <laughs> fucking uh, oh. Saudi Arabia and Canada... This, no, shut it down. It's done. <laughs> it's failed. It was a failed experiment. It you was nice. It was nice while it lasted. Yeah, you it, made it, some and cash. And it really wasn't. It was bad the whole time. No, Just no, it, it, it was nice. Shut up. It was. I, I've met. I've met. Cost, no, no. Listen, I've met cost. some great people through Twitter. Okay, so it's not. It's not completely <laughs> awful. Okay. But when it, it didn't used to be this way, okay, Luke. It used to be yeah, all okay. right. <laughs> it used to be for family. Hey, no, seriously, seriously. When I first joined Twitter uh, back in 2008 with my very first Twitter account, there wasn't countries arguing over the fucking internet, okay? There was no, you know, our, our, our there, there was no leaders of world countries talking about the size of their, their nuclear war buttons, all right? It, it oh was just, God. it was just. It was just a bunch of stupid people posting a bunch of stupid shit. There were some celebrities. They did things. Yeah. You were following people. It was fine. You got, you got like you got like two years out of it. By um, 2010, it was a problem. It was probably about closer to about 2014, I'd say. 2014 was know. where it uh, really started. Apparently, like, apparently, it goes way back for uh, nations getting into stupid shit. Oh, well, it okay. just was never politicized. It was never a big news thing back then because people didn't take Twitter seriously for a long time, even though on under the service, people really did. Yeah, no, it, it was kind of silly, but I, I, I don't either know, way, man. it's time to shut it down. <laughs> it's time to stop it. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I mean, Twitter can be a very, very powerful tool. Um, yeah. But, 
yeah, let's just just shut it down. It's fine. We don't need it anymore. We'll go start our own social network with blackjack and hookers, and uh, you know, exactly. <laughs> it's just just any political conversation whatsoever is immediately banned. It doesn't matter what side you're on. Hey, apparently <laughs> Germany lifts its ban on swastikas in video games. I read something about that the other. Day. I didn't read it. I saw that art. Uh, with obviously a picture from uh, Wolfstein, picture of Laskowitz. Which is it's... yeah, yeah. Um, there's a, there's an age rating now. Uh, mm-hmm. In individual cases, the USK may grant age ratings even if the game shows anti-constitutional symbols. That's kind of neat. There you go. That's something I just fa- found out. Uh, so I gotta mm-hmm. ask now: Does that mean that maybe a future Wolfenstein title, you know, might I have that? Be able to re-release. Uh... Or, like, issue a patch or something to restore uh, Hitler's mustache. That's important. They have to... They didn't... Re- oh, yeah, that's right. They had yeah. to... Yeah, they, had, it as, like they had his mustache out. Which I don't get, because they've had movies and things with Hitler in it before. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know their laws. They're confusing. They're Maybe weird. German, German people are weird, and I can say that really as somebody are. whose uh, great-grandfather came here from Germany. Like, you guys are fucking weird. <laughs> um... It's just whatever, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. I uh, <laughs> we'll see. That'd be cool. Uh, and like I said, those games are pretty fucking great. The new Wolfenstein games. So hopefully they can have them in their entirety. Even though, really, I'm thinking about it. Like uh, there are some swastikas, but I don't think there were really that many. A lot of them are like in like uh, protest stuff, like where it's got a you know a circle and a cross, line through it type thing. Yeah, on right. the uh, on the base you're in, which I can. I mean, I could totally get that. So yeah, but uh, I'm sure I'm like I have played that game in like months and months. So maybe I'm just like not misremembering because there are times when you walk down the streets and obviously it's a conquered United States since like there's a fucking German march like a parade going on as you're carrying a nuclear bomb and a fire extinguisher. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, you're walking around, and there are, like, German officers watching everybody and stuff. And that game, that game's fucking wild. So this is kind of neat. Um, as of yesterday, I guess uh, Sony has sold over 500 million P- PlayStations, like, overall of the lifetime of the of the entire series. Yeah. Um, which is, of, of course, awesome. Congratulations to Sony. Uh, th- you know, thank your God, because that's what's keeping your company afloat. Um mm-hmm. They're going to release a limited edition PS4 with a two terabyte hard drive. Oh, uh, is that the one that's going to be fucking see through? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. It looks kind of neat, oh, that honestly. Sounds fucking cool. Yeah. <clears throat> like if I had five hundred bucks to drop, I would probably buy it because it looks really nice. Um, it's got like a gold PS4 symbol, gold lettering and stuff, and then like the case is, looks like a translucent blue. I'm looking at it right now. Um, yeah. They're going to be selling it uh, starting August twenty fourth uh, for five hundred bucks. It's a PS4 Honestly, Pro. Even though I have a PS4, <clears> if it had, if they just won, done one more thing for me and put the fu- put a fucking 4K Blu-ray player in it, then I'd buy it. Right, I'd be down. But for without that, yeah. without that, I'm just not. I'm not going to upgrade to the PS4 Pro. I, I, I don't am, care that much. Right. I'm I'm considering buying at least the controller though. Um, hmm. The controller looks. You know, the controller is the same way. It's it's got it's a translucent blue. And it's sixty five dollars, so I think if I can get one, I might grab one. Yeah, I mean, because it, cool. it it just it would make a good controller for when I emulate stuff. Because yeah. I do that, I do that every now and then. I emulate PS4 things. controller's not bad. I'm not I'm not a huge fan of it, like I've said before, but uh, it's it's definitely better than like the PS3 or other controllers. Right. I I, I play some I play some Sony games, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On I, on I, my I on my shield TV. Go back and finish so. God of War. On that fucking boss. That currently, my background, which changes every background of the Valkyrie, and it just fills me with untold rage. I, yeah, I can only boss. imagine. I, I can only imagine. Like I, I, I totally like feel you um, on on the kind of rage that you feel when you when you're sitting there trying to do all that. Like man, I I've fucking been there. <laughs> there's uh, there's actually a really funny Kotaku uh, write up article that I read. That's on that boss, and uh, they they even mentioned that as soon as the fight starts, it's not like it's not like other fights where you normally go up to these things that are called rift tears, 
Ben Hill reaches in and like rips his hand, fist out or like it's kind of like not not knocked back but like kind of forced back yeah. and then enemies start spawning. This one he reaches his fist in and then the Valkyrie busts out, grabs Kratos by the face and just slams him and drags Kratos across the <laughs> ground like just you know by the head on his face and it slams his head into the ground and that's the way the fight starts every single time. Every time you die and or lose and have to reload, she does that shit to you. It's like every time she's just reminding you, I'm putting your fucking face in the dirt over and over and over again. It's so fucking brutal. Jeez. Like, that sounds really cool, but then it's like, no Oh, fuck it you. is. And then it's like, God damn it, I can't fucking beat this bitch. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that that's part of the reason why I have I don't think I've played um, any serious video games in, in about probably about three weeks to four weeks now, um, because I I you know the the whole difficulty thing that you like just just ah being angry yeah um, I I'm super angry at at uh, uh, Hollow Knight right now uh, yeah like I'm at a point where there's not much progress I can make without going through difficult bosses and I'm just, I'm over it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I know I can, I can go, I can go grind and try and get some upgrades and then I take her on again. And I'm just, I just don't want to. Yeah. I, I think I'm going to wait, uh, the 21st or the 20th, if this pulling out the God of War new game plus. Yeah. So that when I beat it, I can just start it all over again in new game plus, which is what I've wanted. Like it's one of the reasons I I paused earlier on and didn't play the game so much is because I really like I wanted to play it again immediately. Right. I like new game plus. I like starting a game over again and feeling like a fucking god <laughs> because I have all the powers, all the weapons and abilities, armor that's fucking jacked to the roof. So I'm kind of like once that comes out, then I'll probably go dedicated on it and fucking finish it. Yeah, that was one thing I loved about The Witcher 3 was when they started the new game plus and you could carry everything yeah. over. Um, like, that was the only way I was ever able to beat it on, uh, not Death March, but the one below Death March. Or actually, no, I'm not be I haven't beat it. Well, you know, I have. I've completed the main quest and Heart of Stone. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, just because I was able to start over with, with some of my real high level equipment that I got from the previous game. So, I mean. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, no, it was it was pretty good, man. I got to go back to that. I was like, uh, I'm planning on playing both the Tales games. I'm behind on. Um, those are like on my like the next things I want to do. Right. I just haven't. Yes, I haven't started them. <laughs> yeah, no, Tales I of mean, Restria and Tales of Zenestria, I think. Zestria, just 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 Zestria and Berseria. Berseria. And uh, Berseria. Like, yeah, Berseria. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I, I'm I'm the same way. Like I have both the games, and I want to sit down and play them. But like, dude, Hollow Knight just Hollow Knight pissed me off to the point that I I haven't played anything but like mindless mobile yeah. games since. Yeah, like, stuff that you can play and watch in fucking movies and TV and yeah, whatever. yeah. Like like I've been sitting here. I've I've racked up over a hundred and like thirty hours on a Pokemon Quest on my Switch, just because I can set some shit up, let them go, and not think about it for a while, <laughs> while I sit here and watch like Iron Fist or the Defenders or something. Yeah, yeah. I played I played uh, so Legend Zelda the Warriors Zelda Warriors Hy Hy Hyrule Warriors Warriors? Zelda, Hyrule Warriors that one whatever the fuck it's called I played that until there's nothing I don't I don't want to touch it anymore I got to the point where there's still one character to unlock in the uh, adventure mode yeah see I, I, stuff, I, I and it's it's not, it's not gonna happen anytime soon because that map is just fucking overly difficult yeah I have and then uh, I, I realized that unlocking game. the weapon are just and, not not yeah fun. like especially the master sword you gotta collect all other weapons before you yeah. can begin unlocking the master sword's power it's like that's a little extreme and i i i, I gotta say i haven't been to that i haven't played with that that uh that game probably a month now maybe longer because uh like i burned myself out playing the fuck out of out of you fire play. emblem and yeah. uh, fire emblem warriors. warriors is a better warriors game than hyrule warriors is 
because yeah. there's so many little uh, QOLs that are just QOL improvements that are just so so nice. Yeah. That I I don't know, man. It was it was it's kind of it feels like a step backwards. The game is fine, gameplay is fine, but it feels like a step backwards. Because those the little things that you, you don't think about when you're yeah yeah like the map system and and ordering your units to do things and it's just better in Fire Emblem Warriors. Yeah, uh, I Hyrule Warriors. I cleared the first adventure mode map of all the weapons and the characters and most of the fairy stuff too, and then uh, went to the next and started looking to see how many actual weapons levels that you had to get. Yeah. Not just new weapons. Um, and there's up to like level four and five on some of those maps. And I literally went because at first I had that that like collect collector bug that sometimes with some games where I just go, well, I'm 100 percenting this. Yeah. Like the Tomb Raider games, Far Cry games. Typically, I'll play those games and get find everything, get everything 100 percent the game or at least get all of the side objectives and most of the collectibles are all the little collectibles. So you, you settle for like 95. Uh, sometimes it depends on, on how stupid the collectible font, the collectible thing is. Right. Uh, the Assassin's Creed games, like there were like 250 feathers that are hidden randomly around an open world map. No, I don't even fucking start those. But like in the, the first of the newer Tomb Raider games, there was like three or four things per general area. Yeah. That were like little treasures and trinkets. Kind right. of like um, Resident Evil 4. The right. Treasures and... So, yeah. No, no, totally. I go back and you can backtrack, which is... If I can't backtrack, that's another time when I say fuck it. Uh, God of War, I don't think I'm going to go back to find all the stuff. I might. But, um, yeah, I, I get into that mindset where I'm like, all right, I'm playing this until I get everything. And then I kind of had that for a little bit with Hyrule Warriors... And then as soon as I cleared the first map and took a look at the second one yeah, and then was like, oh, these are all just level twos of the weapons I already have. And then I looked at the next map and, oh, those are level threes and four. And then the next, and I'm like, oh, never mind. I'm done with this fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was it for me. Yeah, so no, I, I feel that. There are two things that the big things I think that came out this week. Yeah. Um, the first of which is because we're going to bury the lead. The first of which is the lie of the uh, gameplay trailer for Red Dead Redemption 2. Which I have yet to watch. Holy fucking shit. I, I don't care, man. I never played the first oh one. God. I'll never play the first one. This game's not coming to PC. Joe, don't give a shit. Wait, why isn't this one's not coming to PC or is it I, coming I eventually? I don't think so. I don't see why it would. Why wouldn't it? The uh, last GTA did. The last two GTAs did. Well, I mean, they ported all the GTAs eventually, but it's like... Yeah. I've not heard anything definitive about this popping up on on a PC. So no. well, I'm not holding your out. Life sucks, and I'm sorry, but uh, Red no, Dead my Redemption life is was fine. I don't fuck. need Red, Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead was fucking awesome. I mean, I'm and sure this it was. Game looks to continue, it's. I mean, it's GTA in the fucking West. I'll right, like right. A better story and more shit. Like maybe not more shit, but it looks to be the GTA Five of Red Dead Redemption, and it's just oh my god, dude! I can't wait. I am so looking forward to this game. I mean, it might um, be the game that gets me to buy a PS4. I mean, because like we've already yeah. mentioned that there are games that I would buy the PS4 for. Um, you know, Horizon Zero Dawn, Bloodborne, uh, God of War. Um, so I yeah. mean, maybe this will maybe this will push me over that edge, and maybe go. You know what? I'm gonna buy this system. I'm gonna buy these four games, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah, the, like. This this would be the one to sell me if I had to go buy a console to play it. Uh, bu, 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 let's see here. Before and silence this, befalls the crowd. See. Yeah, well, I'm reading this PC. Uh, the PC gamer just released an article about Red Dead coming to PC. Uh, I guess uh, yeah, no, it's Red Dead Redemption Two is listed for PC. This so, is this is this is interesting. Um, yeah. And I don't know how, how true it is, but apparently it's only going to be 900p on Xbox One, but it's going to be 1080p on PS4. Uh, does, I wonder if that takes the Xbox One X into I, account. I don't think it takes the Xbox One. There's no way it would take the Xbox One X into account. Yeah, I don't see why it would be less, uh, you know, less awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean... Uh, I just find I find that weird, you know, like like, and that 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 harkens back to that problem that I was talking about, you know, all these months ago when we were talking about the Xbox One X and and them advertising 4K and stuff. We still don't have 1080p down 
Why the fuck are you still pushing to 4K? Come on. You guys suck. Yeah. It's really, really stupid. Yeah. But anyway, anyway this uh, this game, uh, like, story-wise, looks great. Mm-hmm. Uh, just, oh, man, I love the Red Dead. I love Red Dead, too. Or Red Dead Redemption, I mean. Red Dead Redemption 2 looks to be, like, a game that I'm just going to shut off everything and play the shit out of. Yeah. I mean, you know... I don't know. It looks. It definitely does look nice, and I know the, Red, the original Red Dead was was apparently extremely good. So yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm not going to bash the game or anything. I, and you know, my outrage was obviously fake. I'm not that concerned with. I mean, if it doesn't come to PC, that would be incredibly shitty. Like you, it's that's very valid outrage. Um, well, yeah, I'm, but I don't I mean, know why they didn't release the first Red Dead Redemption on PC, other than that. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to remember if that came out before GTA 4 or after. And GTA 4 just never, like, was never good on the PC. So oh, maybe yeah, that's no, part was, of the reason why. Yeah, GTA 4 was was absolute trash on PC and was definitely yeah. probably uh, the worst port job of any GTA. Uh, event. I, I would argue it's one of the worst port jobs that have ever existed. Um, it's like right up there yeah. with that one Batman, uh, Batman game. Knight. Yeah, Arkham Knight. It's right up there with Arkham Knight, like... It was just so, so poorly optimized, and there were so many incredibly game-breaking glitches and bugs. Like it, it's it's pretty it's pretty bad. Like I don't know how playable Arkham Knight is, but um, I know GTA GTA is four is at least playable if you are lucky enough to be able to run it in the first place. Yeah, yeah, and GTA Five is pretty great on the PC. GTA it Five is amazing. Them, yeah, no, like it, it, it runs perfectly. Seventeen months, but I, you know, I'm okay with that. Like, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, I, and I've always said that. Um, and and Sigur, I think it, the the quote can be attributed to Sigur Miyamoto. You know, a a bad game, a delayed game, can be good eventually. Um, whereas a bad game is bad forever. A rush game is bad yep. forever. So it's like. Yep, yep. You know, get it right. Take your time. I'm okay with you taking your time to to get something right. You know, like don't don't fuck it up. Don't break it. Take your time. Iron out as many bugs as you reasonably can. You know, honestly, if 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 they'd have taken you know another couple months on Skyrim, it would probably be a much better game than it is. Mm-hmm. Um, or then again, if they would just stop and fix the bugs in the engine, it would be a much better game than it is. But uh, you know. We got God rays. Yeah. Yeah. We got God rays. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm hoping the game lives up to all the hype too. Yeah. Cause that's one problem with, uh, but rockstar is that company that like it does, it, it knows it's hype and it's like, it works with the hype and it released his videos like this one. Like seriously, it's like a really chill, just work. They, they just talk about the game, talk about the stuff that's going to happen in the game. Like, this is a, da, 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 this is your camp. You'll be able to. You play the game, but like I just want to ride around my horse, shoot deer, and right. like take them to the trading trading place. It's like it's so simple yet so effective on just making it so that's all I could think about right. up until I watched the Nintendo Direct, and then Smash Brothers came in and like is warring with GTA or with uh, Red Dead. <laughs> um, honestly, I don't think there's gonna. They, they, Come on, there's not really any competition between the two. Like, oh no, only for my uh, attention, right? Right. That's because I mean, that's, you're gonna, that's what I mean. They release at different points, uh, so you're yeah. gonna have the money for them. It's fine. I, you know, uh, Red Dead releases at the end of October, and you got Smash Bros. releasing at the beginning of December. So it's like you're, you're fine. You know, whatever. And the funny thing is, that's a game that I'll probably like if the PC release is delayed the way it was with uh, GTA Five. Yeah, I'll probably buy it on the PS4 and then buy it again on the PC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I could, I could totally see that that being a thing. Like, I mean, I gotta say, I have not played much of, of GTA Five, but what I have played is like, oh, this game is amazing, and that's yeah. one of those things where if I'd have been, if I'd still had my Xbox 360 um, when GTA Five came out, I probably would have bought it on. Actually, I think I did, but I was in the process of selling it, so it doesn't really count. But if I if I'd yeah. have kept it, I definitely would have bought it on. Um, I definitely would have bought it on Xbox and then again on on PC because uh, the game is great. Like it really is a yeah. really good game. I want to one thing I do want to get into this time since I, I when I had it on the 360, I didn't play the online 
Uh, it took it took um, a while before <clears throat> the online came out, I believe. I think that was delayed too. Uh, they I don't they had it. Exactly. They you had know, it in beta I, for a while. I know. Like that. Yeah. yeah. And I did. I just. I didn't play it on there. Uh, and then I never got the game on like the Xbox One. And then on the PC version, when I got that, I never really played the online there with Red Dead. I definitely want to get into the online. I want to like you know like dedicate time for that because GTA Five online. It's just. I mean, it's a chaotic mess of all. Yeah, no, it's 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 just fun and and insanity. Um, I mean, I shit if it releases on PC, you know, and there's an online component like GTA with GTA Five, I'll play it with you. Fuck it. Hell yeah. You know, get it's a just, whole group going. Yeah, you know, get Jake in on it. Uh, whoever else can join in, you know, let's just play it. Whoever can run it. <laughs> right. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I I I can guarantee you at this point, you and I can run it. Yes, I I can't guarantee it. I, probably Ruga. Ruga could probably run it too because she's right at our level. Um, yeah. So, <clears throat> I I don't know that Jake could run it. You know, not with his current setup. No, not with his current setup. But I mean, we we could we could we could get some people together. I'm sure we could. I think Ori could run it. You just have to get her to play it. <laughs> just getting her to do things at the times that we're able to do things. You know. Yeah. Fucking certain shit. Shit. Yeah, we got to be. We got to do this shit early morning, like how we record the podcast. You know, between eight thirty and nine thirty in the morning, and then after that, we record it, we finalize it, we go to bed, and then when I get up uh, Saturday morning, I, I edit it. So yeah. I mean, I don't know. Do you see that Discord is launching their own store? No, like, I didn't like, see like, that. Yeah, like, game uh, store. Um, it's huh? on their it's on their blog. Uh, <clears throat> if you're a Discord Nitro user and you're in Canada, uh, you might be one of the fifty thousand. Uh, lucky users who get to see an upgraded version of Discord Nitro, where it costs a little bit more, but you get to just play games. Um, kind of like the it, they're they're advertising it as kind of like Netflix for games. Um, so through the Discord client, you go to user settings, click on Discord Nitro, blah blah blah. You can get uh, <clears throat> and of course you have to be in Canada. So if there's any listeners in Canada, you know, log on Discord, see if you got anything. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, like you kind of get kind of neat, which is, but they 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 have like cool. a, just just a little small library of games, which I don't seem to see a, a link, but uh, you know they're also doing like a yeah just a little curated game store type stuff where you can just buy games through Discord. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, uh, obviously this week I know you watched it and I watched it fucking yeah. uh, Smash Brothers. Yeah, I, I sat there and watched the ultimate. I did it in parts. I watched the first half of it before I went to bed, and then I watched the rest of it when I got up. Yeah, I, um, I watched it like right before we recorded. Watched the last half of it, and, and I actually kept from seeing any spoilers before I actually watched it myself. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um. Holy fucking shit! Like, like character wise, it's really, really awesome. We. I don't know why. I don't even when we were talking about who we'd like to see in Smash. I did we ever mention the fucking Castlevania series in the Belmonts? Yeah, I, I know. I said I would love to see Alucard in the, in the series. I, I, I think I okay. could remember saying that, and I think I did say I'd like to see Richter. Um, I don't know. That episode was so long ago, man. But uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that Alucard's being relegated to a, um, a, an assist trophy yeah. rather than his own character. But at the same time... I kind of, I kind of understand it because there are a lot of like sword wielding, you know, users, uh, warriors in the game. You got all the fire emblem characters. You know, you got your, you got the the sword user from the me, the me verse, and all that shit. So I kind of understand yeah. it. But Alucard is like my cat. He's he's my dude in Castlevania. Like I love him. He's my favorite character. So I would love to be able to, to play as him. Yeah, I wish I wish Alucard was a playable character instead of simon but i mean i simon i guess they're you know you go back to the original um who's the other simon and richter simon and richter, richter. Yeah. two of the biggest uh pardon me uh belmont characters in the series like like richter yeah. is um richter is the most powerful of all of the vampire hunters um and then <laughs> simon of course was just one of the original original guys so i mean he they're they're both super important in their own way yeah it's understandable why it chose them. I, I'd like to. I, I can see now the roster's getting so big, and I mean, maybe this is it um, with the addition of the one other character, but I could see now where they're like, okay, we, we're not going to have, you know, two characters and a, uh, 
what do they call them? The flash the, characters. The Echo Fighters. Echo the fighters. Echo Fighter. Yeah, we're yeah. not going to have two full characters and an Echo Fighter from this series. Uh, but I really wish they would have. Same thing with Zero from the Mega Man series. Yeah, yeah. He's he pops a, up in the Assist trophy. trophy, but he's not a character. Like, ah. Yeah. I would have loved to see Zero as a character. Eh. Yeah, no, I mean, he, he's he's like the Mega Man X character for me. Like, he he inspired a lot of, like, because you sit there, you first play Mega Man X for the first time, and you get to the end of that opening stage, and he just fucks that, that, that thing, you know, uh, what the hell is his, I can't remember his name, but he's in that armored suit. He, he fucks just, the mech up. Yeah. yeah, he fucks that mech suit up like it's nothing. Like, he just, boom, blows his arm off. And, like, he's that's an iconic like moment. With a laser sword and, like, really fucking awesome edgy hair and armor. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, which reminds me, I now have I gotta buy the Mega Man X collections on on Switch when I get a when I get some extra money. But I, yeah, I know the feel. <laughs> I do too. Yeah, like they're out now. They're like, yes, I want to at least get the first one because I think Mega Man X Four is probably my favorite of the entire series. I never yeah. played Beyond X Five though, so maybe I'll like X Six, Seven, or Eight better. I gotta get. I did not know there were that many X games. Yeah, right. So, like, I was watching the Honest trailer for that, and there are games that are. I was like, "Whoa, that's wow!" I didn't know there was like past, like you said, like four or five. Yeah, (laughs) five was five was the highest one I ever played. Uh, But you got you got six, seven, and eight, and I think it was six. Uh, Six was where they introduced a a character called Nightmare Zero, which is uh, just a way more powerful evil Zero. I think, or something like that. It's weird. I don't know. I want to play it. That's yeah. all I know. <laughs> yeah, that's the important thing. Yeah, like exactly. <laughs> I don't know, man. S- more Smash Bros. stuff. Yeah, like, like. Uh, and then they oh, got- my God. The stuff that blew me away, though, the stages, the amount of stages and, like, 300 all the po- options you have. 300 potential combinations. You got, like, them in Omega stages. You got them in Battlefield mode. You got the regular stages. You can turn off the stage hazards. Like, mm-hmm. yes, that's so cool. I don't know why you would want to turn the stage hazard off. They're so much fun, you know, like, yeah, like the mid gear stage. I guess when you, I guess when you want like a more serious yeah. battle, I don't know. I, it, I mean, it's, it, that's cool. Cause then it, you don't just default to final destination every time you want a serious battle or a battle field or whatever that other one was. Yeah. Yeah. Which, you know, that's a. Uh, yeah, Final Destination was like the thing, and of course Battlefield, the original, the original level. But uh, yeah, yeah, that is kind of nice though. Like, like how annoying. Like, I, like I, I can't count the number of times that I've accidentally died in like Brinstar on like melee yeah. because Kraid jumps up out of the lava, knocks the fucking level like sideways or whatever, or rotates it, and you just fall. Oh man, I love. I used to love that shit though. Like so that's. That's one of my favorite things on the Midgar stage, though. Like, you can summon, like, you, like uh, randomly these materials will pop up, and you can hit one, and, and, like, it'll summon one of the random monsters, and, like, one of the things that it can summon is Bahamut. He just splits the whole fucking level in half, like, just mm-hmm. straight down the middle. Um, I, I kind of like that stuff, though. I, I, that I kind of like. But, yeah, no, fuck Kraid and his Brinstar shittiness. Fuck you. Just, hey, I'm going to just turn the level real quick on you. But yeah, by the way, everything everything's gonna flip. Like, well, fuck you too, buddy. Uh, but yeah, I mean the amount of characters in just the amount of fucking levels in, stay I'm sorry, characters too, but stages and then the amount of music they talk about, all the different tracks from the different series. Twenty eight hours can, worth of music on this shit's included. Yeah, n- uh, Nine hundred tracks when you can include like the menu stuff. Yep. I mean Wow, that's just fucking crazy. And like I saw when they showed like The Legend of Zelda specifically, it looked like there was a good 20 tracks there. Yeah. From lots of different, like from diff- all the different games too. Yeah. Like various remixes and remasters of like the, the of course, the, the theme, uh, the different overworld themes and stuff like that. Like, yeah, there, there was, and I love Zelda music. Like Zelda music yeah. is, is top tier for me when it comes to video game music. Like right up there with Nobu Uematsu's stuff, he composes the Final Fantasy themes. It's like, yeah. yeah, no, give me, give me more Zelda music. Give me more, especially when you, when you go full orchestra, like, oh man, mm-hmm. yes. And the, you know, the ability to customize it too. Mm-hmm. Just, oh, man, there's so much they're doing with this game just to make it like, uh, just make it the game every, everything you want, which is weird because normally that's, you know, that's something you can't do. Yeah. Yeah. With <laughs> Nintendo, it's like. 
Nintendo is like, here, this is what we're giving you. This isn't yeah. what we want. We'll deal with it. And you're like, well, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's definitely not, not what we want. It's like, but I didn't even ask for all of this. I'll like, take it, though. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, wow, this is really cool. I didn't even know I wanted this until you gave it to me. Thanks, Nintendo. Exactly. King Karul? Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't like, expect that motherfucker. I, I didn't know I wanted to play as him. Now I, I want to see how he plays. I want to know what he's like. Let me play. Give me, give me, give me. You yeah. know? And, like, my thing is, like, I, I want to know how are um, how are we going to unlock the characters, you know? Like, that's, that's well, kind of what I want to know. Yeah. Stages are automatically unlocked. Really? It's cool. Yeah, he said that all the stages are available right from the start with all the mm-hmm. options. Okay. Which I like. I, I, I don't want to have to unlock stages. If right. I, unlocking characters is something that's interesting, though, so I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah. Or if they if they decided not to do that, if they they let you unlock alternate, I don't know, like alternate costumes, the alter, you know, you can always change the color or whatever. Right. If they do a little bit more with that, uh, maybe that would be one way just to extend, you know, have that unlockable stuff. But I, either way, I don't care. I just I, I'm fine if they do make you unlock the characters. Just I don't want to have to unlock forty billion of them. Yeah. Depending on the difficulty, that yeah. would just that would get old very quickly. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, don't, like, don't Hyrule Warriors me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't don't sit there and uh, make you jump through a billion and one hoops just to play as like, you know, uh, the, the one variation of Link you actually want to play as. Yeah, yeah. Like fucking, oh, I want to unlock Mewtwo. Uh, uh, fucking oh, play yeah. the game for four hours straight or... Oh no! It was um. It wasn't. No, it was like you had to play uh, four hundred or seven hundred seven hundred versus matches. I think it was or seven hundred yeah, hours annoying. of the game. Yeah, it was. It was insane. It was like or he popped up randomly. Uh, did he? I think so. There was a there was an easier way to get him, or you just left your console. I remember that. Yeah, no, that's how I unlocked him. I just, I just, uh, what I did was is uh, I set up a ninety nine stock battle with. Um, zero level uh, CPU players and then just mm-hmm. left it and walked mm-hmm. away. Um, and well, maybe not. No, I didn't do 99. I did like I did a fi- like a 15 or something because 99 would be insane at zero level. Um, mm-hmm. But eventually, yeah, eventually they, they he unlocked. I was like, yes, finally, let's do the thing. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I, I think, I don't remember if I had to do that or if it was a random, I think there was either it was an easier way or he could get him randomly. But I don't know. I just know that that like some of the unlocks were a little fucking in a wing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the history of smash. <clears throat> we could probably do a whole episode on, on how annoying some of that was to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. I hate, I, I, I like, I, and I get it. Like for some people that's, you know, a big part of the challenge, but I'm not one of those people that wants to play a fighting game on like super hard difficulty and have to get like a, a double S rating on through like every arcade mode to unlock yeah. characters. Yeah. I'm looking at you fucking uh, Dragon Ball Z fighters. Fuck you. Dragon Ball fighters. Dragon fighters Ball fighters. Yeah. <laughs> I do want to get that though. I'd be honest with you. So, I mean, that's what I actually I... just, I turned on my Xbox one to yeah. download all the DLC characters last night. I can do And then I didn't play it after they downloaded it. <laughs> no, because you just wanted the characters there. Yeah. I was just like, well, I paid for it. I'm going to fucking download it. God damn it. I will pro- I think that's a game I'll get on Switch. Um, mm-hmm. Like, I, I kind of want to get it on, on PC, but if it's, if it's good enough on Switch, I'll probably grab it on Switch. Yeah. For me, it's I, I like it, but it's still it's that fighting game thing where I just don't get into normal fighting games that much right i can play them for a little while and then i'll play if i play with some i, I gotta play against the computer if i play with a normal person i'm just done unless they're as bad as i am right yeah because <laughs> i mean like with like going online and smash bros is like i'm good i'm good yeah oh I'm, i mean I'm smash good. bros 90 smash bros thankfully is the kind of game where playing it offline is still really fun yeah um and I'm hoping to God that hidden mode is an adventure mode type thing. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I like give me another subspace emissary type deal. Yeah, something yeah. with a story. But there's so much in that game that I'm like, how? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how they're gonna do it. But I, I that's all I know is that I want it. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I want it. Yeah, 
<clears throat> All right. I, I don't have too much more to say, to be honest with you. So no, I think we're going to go I ahead and gush over Smash Brothers more, but I think we've gushed enough. Yeah, no, we, de- <laughs> we did an entire episode where we gushed over Smash Brothers. So let's let's, let's reel, yeah. it, reel it in, wind it down. We'll do another one later. <laughs> yeah. We, oh, yeah. Once, once the game drops, you know we will. Oh, fuck yeah. So the, if the podcast is randomly played a couple weeks in a row, just uh, we apologize. Blame Sakurai and Nintendo. Luckily, you won't have to think about that till December because that's when it drops. So yeah, you know, yep, yep. our bad. We, we love Smash Bros. <laughs> oh man! Make sure to check right, us guys. out on uh, Facebook. You know, f- Twitter, Instagram, yeah. all Patreon. all un- uh, yeah, Patreon. All addresses <laughs> end in ungodly geeks. Go to our website ungodlygeeks.com. You can get uh, all the information you need there. All the stuff right up top. All the links to our various places that we do things and Mm -hmm. uh i think that's about it for the ungodly geeks i was joe i was luke you guys have a good day see ya